everybody welcome back to the rebel chums channel today we're taking a look at the clone troopers model kit by bandai um, this will be build number 10 for me i already reviewed nine other model kits so check out my uh, other reviews if you're interested and uh, today we're going to start with one of the fan favorites which is the clone trooper um a lot of the builders actually pick up a lot of these to build like entire armies in different configurations different spot drone colors etc 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 to mimic different units because there's so many different units uh, of clone troopers and there's so much lore behind it from uh, the star wars the uh, clone wars tv show so uh, starting with the box art very very beautiful i really like the box art box art on this guy i think it's one of my favorites um I really feel it's unique compared to some of the other ones, and uh, yeah, really nice overall. I uh, I dig it. Um, the side of the box, of course, shows some stills from the actual movies, and then the model kit in high res pictures uh, with all the individual kits you get, and that's really cool. So you get three configurations, of, as I understood it, or two actually, uh, two different weapons, two different helmets, phase one and phase two, and night vision helmeting and different hands. Trigger fingers on both sides, which is what something I sometimes have a, a little bit of a uh, complaint about with some of the model kits. They only have one trigger finger. It's for the opposite hand. And then we have the other side here. And that's the bottom. So we're going to open up the box and see how many spruces are actually inside the box. So we have an idea of that because that's really important um, before we start. So we have a, a good idea like how much we can expect, how long the build will be. Um, honestly, I think the build will be, depending on the configuration, uh, be very comparable to a uh, short trooper that I built earlier. So let's see. Um, the camera angle is a little bit messed. Uh, let's see. Put the spruces like this so you guys can see that really clearly. So we got here spruce one and spruce two. So we got two spruces here, the hands, the feet, um, some pieces to the side, let's see on the back. We got weapons, um, relatively chunky bits. So I don't see much of an issue with this, uh, two, with these two spruces. I think it's pretty straightforward. I think it's easy to assemble yeah i don't see really tiny bits and pieces so that's an uh, indication that it's going to probably be an easy build then we have the second bit uh there's two more spruces here and then there's something in the back so we're going to take a look at that so we are at four spruces for now to build a uh, clone trooper and again i don't see much weird stuff big uh, tiny teeny tiny stuff no nope, none of that so four spruces and then we have a joint spruce and the base. So the joint and base I never really include in the calculation of how many spruces. So there's four spruces in there um, that will comprise a clone trooper. So all of this soon will be an actual action figure, which is so dope that forecast to see that coming uh, together later. I mean, I love model kits. That's one thing that I really started to enjoy now. Um, I love these um, booklets as well. They contain so much information about the steps and whatnot and everything you need to know let me see how many steps are included eight steps so it's a really easy straightforward build i think one half hour max um not trying to rush it of course because it's a marathon not a race so yeah thank you and um, if you have any further questions about this model kit uh, let me know i will do a review of the full uh, build as well and uh, hopefully you're gonna like that thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye